Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Alexis, AKA Scandalex. I am super excited about today's video. If you cannot tell by the title, we're talking about perfumes. We're talking about how to smell good, how to smell good on a budget, how to smell expensive on a budget. This one I'm actually really excited for, so stay tuned. I'm gonna be sharing eight new scents with you guys. Some of them are my OG scents, like I love them already. And then I have a few new scents that I'm gonna share with you guys that are also new to me. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you're following me on all social media. Make sure you leave a comment. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. So first and foremost, I wanna shout out Rebel Scents for sponsoring today's video. When they reached out, it was like perfect timing because I was literally just thinking to myself like, I need some more scents. I was running out of my old scents. I need to invest in some new ones. And they reached out like they were heaven sent and they sent me eight new scents. So I was super excited and the thing about them is their website is really, really helpful, especially for people who may not wear perfume already. Like you can go on there, you can take a quiz and it'll match you up with some of your perfect scents. You can go on there and you can browse through all the scents and it'll give you like a detailed breakdown of all the notes inside of it, all the scents that are inside of it. So you can kind of get an idea of exactly what perfume would fit you and suit you perfectly. And on top of that, on top of that, okay, they have huge discounts. Like I went on Sephora and I compared the prices on Rebel Scents to Sephora. When I tell you I'm never ever buying a perfume off of Sephora if I don't have to ever again because I'm gonna go to Rebel Scents and they have it for cheaper. Like why? It's like a no brainer. So I'm definitely gonna recommend this site to anyone who's looking to buy some new perfumes and save coin. Definitely, definitely head over to that site. So we're gonna start with an oldie but a goodie. One of my OG scents from college. This is one of my first scents that I remember I spent some, actually I didn't spend money on it, but this is my first gifted scent from a man that was kind of expensive. This is the YSL Black Opium. To, still to this day, it's one of my favorite, favorite scents. I can wear this every single day and not ever get tired of it. So let me break it down for you guys. It's To me, it's like a warm scent. I'm gonna break down the, the notes that are in it. So basically it's a sweet coffee scent. That's how they describe it with white flowers and the base is vanilla. I love anything vanilla, guys. If you know me, you know I love vanilla candles. So I love anything that has vanilla in the scent. That's why I probably love this so much, but it's like a, uh, it's like a warm smell. It's like a warm but sweet smell. Lasts all day when you spray it on you. I spray, I'm the type of girl who sprays like a lot of perfume. Like I'm not the one, two type girl. I'm like the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Like I gotta make sure I smell like this all day. Like I wanna walk past people and they be like, ooh, girl, you smell good. Like you smell really good. Honestly, this smells so, so good. I would wear this, like I said, I can wear this all day, every day. But to me, this is more of an evening scent where you get all dressed up in like a little black dress and you're about to go out to dinner. You spray this. This is definitely like a sexy evening scent in my opinion, but I'll wear it all the time. Like I'll wear it whenever I want to because it just smells that good. Um, but that's definitely one of my favorites, YSL Black Opium. I think that'll always be in my collection no matter what, okay? So this one is new to me. This is C by Giorgio Armani. And the funny thing about this is my sister actually, I think she walked past me one day and it was one of those like, walk past me again, like, I was like, what you got on? Like it smells so, so good. But my sister is one of those type of people where she does not like to share her perfumes. I don't get, people like you, if you guys are like that, you're crazy. Like, I don't understand when people are like that. Like, I wanna smell good, tell me what you got on, but there are some people who are stingy with their perfumes. They don't want you to know what they're wearing because they don't want you to smell like them. She's definitely one of those type of people. So I had to pull it out of her. I was like, girl, what you wearing? And it was the C. Giorgio Armani. It smells so, it's such a sweet fragrance to it. Not a sweet, it's like a grown and sexy sweet. It's not like a cheap sweet because it can get like, there's a line between smelling cheap sweet and smelling like sweet but grown woman sophisticated. And that's exactly what this Giorgio Armani C is. It smells so fresh to me. So some of the notes in here says the top is black currant. The heart is an airy floral. So like that's where the sweet comes in like a floral scent, like a floral flowery scent. And then it's a musky blonde wood at the base. So this one, whew. 
yes oh my god i love her she i tell you if you like like a sweeter this is a day scent to me i would wear this during the day when i tell you any man that smells you is gonna be like what you got on you smell so good like this just smells so good to me so so good i love the giorgio armani c for sure this has definitely become one of my favorites and i have a bowl of coffee here in between the scents you know if you ever go to like the perfume stands they often have these coffee grinds so you can like inhale it so it resets your olfactory senses i actually looked it up on google and there was a scientist who did a study and it said coffee actually doesn't do anything for your senses when it comes to like resetting them you know it's always that one person that gotta like kill everyone's joy i'm not gonna stop doing it like for me it's a psychological thing i'm still gonna sniff coffee in between because i want to feel like i'm smelling each perfume separately i don't want them to run into each other so i'm still gonna be sifting my coffee in between these fragrances so those are my favorite those are my top two that's why i started the ysl and the giorgio armani c those are my top two from this collection for sure so this next one is mark jacob decadence i love this packaging first and foremost it is the cutest thing it's like a little purse and then it has this gold chain like 10 out of 10 Marc Jacobs for this, this packaging. It's so cute. It comes in this emerald bottle. Emerald is one of my favorite colors for sure. So this one, ooh, this is a different scent. And you know what? This actually used to be, it's funny how perfumes can, like certain scents can take you back to a certain place. Just like I said, the YSL reminded me of college. This one reminds me of college too because it was my best friend's favorite scent and the thing is I didn't even know that until it came and I was sniffing all the perfumes and she happened to be on the phone with me and I was like Bijan did you used to wear decadence she was like yes in college I wore it all the time it's just funny how your brain can connect smells to people and times and places so this reminds me of her um and it was always a good scent like anytime she was about to go I'd be like "Ooh, you smell good Bijan so this is an Italian plum, saffron, and iris. It has a heart of Bulgarian rose, jasmine, and the base is warm liquid amber, vitivir, and then papyrus wood. So it's a lot of different scents in here. Like it, it's a it's a very complex scent to me, but it's still a very fresh scent. I actually really like it. This is one of my this is one of my tops too. I wouldn't wear this one every day. I would wear this on occasion, like if I was going to like a brunch or something. I could see me brunching in this perfume for sure, but it's definitely like a fun grown woman scent. Like I, I really do like this one. So the next one we have an OG. If you know anything about perfumes, a little bit about perfumes, you know about Gucci Guilty. It's very popular. I actually really like this scent. To me, it gives off like more of a, like a citrusy, vibe i would wear this definitely in the mornings like or not in the mornings but during the day let me break down these notes for you as well so this is mandora bergamot pink pepper and then the middle scent is lilac rose violet geranium oil i don't know what any of that is i know what lilac and rose is but geranium oil Ugh, I don't know what that is. Well, honestly, I don't know what none of that means. I just know it smells really good. It's citrusy. It's this is a day to me. This is a day scent. Um, I can spray this on. Ooh, it's a grown woman. Like a, it almost smells like to me. It gives. It's like a powdery smell. Like it's a powdery, citrusy smell to me. But it smells really good. I don't want to spray too much because I'm gonna like. I feel like I'm gonna fill the whole room with this, and then I won't be able to smell anything else. But this really, this is one of my favorites as well. I like that one. It's Gucci Guilty. You cannot go wrong with having Gucci Guilty in your collection. Mark my words, I'm telling you. You should like this. It's like, like I said, it's more of like a powdery, fresh, everyday scent. That's what I give this Gucci Guilty for real. Love it. So this next one is the Delice Necre by Johan B. It's made in Paris. I love this bottle, the white and gold. I love white and gold together on anything, like on clothes, jewelry. I love white and gold. It just, to me, it just looks so classy and elegant and beautiful. So this bottle alone is just enough to be like, ooh, what is that? I like that. I want to smell that. So then, um, to me, this scent, ooh, to me, see? To me, this is a sweet smell. This is absolutely sweet. 
Oh, for sure. This is a new one. I Like I said, the other ones I, I was familiar with, this one I knew nothing about, but when I sprayed it just now, it gives me very, very, very sweet. Sweet, innocent. This is, <laughs> it's funny that I'm calling a perfume innocent, but this is giving very sweet and innocent. Let me see what's in this one. And that's what I love about this website. Like you can go on and see exactly what notes, what scents, what vibe you're gonna get from the perfume. Like I'm on here learning just like y'all will be learning on here. So basically, okay, this is, yeah, that's why it's sweet. So I'm getting linden flower, white rose, that's the heart. And then the base is musk, amber, and cedar wood. So it's like a musky, woody, sweet scent. That's how you would describe this one. This one should actually grow on me, I like it. In this next one here, we have another one from Johan B. It's Delice Volet. It comes in this red bottle, it's red and gold. Love that. It's just like the white and gold one, but just it comes in red. So let's go ahead and smell this one. Okay. Let's see what this one's about. Whew. But this one is, yeah, I knew it was, did I say it was spicy? So it's grapefruit, pink peppercorn, pear, and then black, black currant. And then we have rose, jasmine, heliotrope, pineapple, and then the base is vanilla, amber wood, and cedar wood. So it definitely has like more of a, a peppery smell to it. I can't even describe it. Like it smells good, but it's not giving me sweet. Like, like the last one was giving me, it's giving me more of a like a kick to it. I like it. Ooh, it's fresh too. It's giving me fresh, peppery smells. I like this one actually. This one, I kinda wanna spray on me like right now. Okay, and then we have two more. This is the, and these are huge. Like the ones they sent over, I think these are like 80 milliliters. These are huge, like these are gonna last me a long time. This next one, pardon me if I'm not saying this right, L'Amour Russe by Les Infinis. It's a pretty black bottle and it has a little dragonfly on the front of it, a little gold dragonfly, black and gold. I love a good black and gold bottle. Okay, so let me see about this one. Whoop, I sprayed it like literally in my face. Okay, I like this one. This is a sweet one. This is almost giving me... This is almost giving me YSL. Like the black opium. It's like in the same category. Let's see what's in this one. So this is mandarin, almond, apples, red fruit, jasmine, rose, vanilla, orange flower. And then it has musk and amber. Yes, yeah, so I, I, I like this one too. This is like a softer scent. Um, something you can definitely get away with wearing during the day. Not a night scent in my opinion. However, it does smell really, it's like a soft, gentle scent. I like this one. Fresh, gentle, that's pretty. Okay, and then last but not least, we have C. Bell. This bottle is gorgeous. It's like a clear bottle. And then it looks like, it's like a clear pinkish bottle and then it comes like a little bow on the top. Super cute packaging. All these are packaged really beautifully. Um, I love it. I appreciate a good perfume bottle. Like, it's giving citrusy sweet. <coughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so there's like a citrusy sweet and then there's like a warm vanilla sweet. If that makes sense, if you know anything about perfumes. This is giving a citrusy sweet smell. Let me see what's in here for you guys. This is fun, I could literally do this all day. <laughs> like this, I love perfumes, I love scents, I love learning about new scents and new smells. Okay, so this one has bergamot rose, jasmine, cedar wood, white flower, musk, amber, vanilla, sandalwood. So this, it was giving like citrusy, but there's like vanilla and stuff in it. I don't know, it smells good. So of course everything is gonna be linked below for you guys. I can't wait to do another one. Like I cannot wait to do another perfume haul because I love sharing scents with you guys. Like I'm not one of the people, like I said earlier, that you got to beg for their perfumes and their scents. And I'm not stingy with my perfume. I want everyone to smell good, especially as a woman. Like it's so important for you to smell feminine and grand and luxe, like you can put on your best hair, you can put on your best makeup, your best outfit. This, if you don't have your best scent on as well, 
girl you might as well just get back in bed as a woman having a good perfume collection is literally the cherry on top like you you have to have it like you literally have to so i feel like rebel sense is a good place to start like i said it's very detailed on there it's not like you're going in there blind especially if you're someone who doesn't wear a lot of perfumes it's kind of like a person who doesn't drink a lot of wines like you go into the wine store and the wine aisle and it's just like, yo, where do I even start? That's how perfumes kind of are if you really aren't into that kind of thing. But I hope I gave you guys a good description of all of these. So I would encourage you, if you're looking to up your perfume collection, definitely give their website a try. There's really no excuse. Like, at this, I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying like, unless you don't care about your coins. I care about my coins. So I want to shop and get a discount so so i put the information out there for you guys i mean it's up to you whether you want to take it or not <laughs> so i really hope you guys enjoyed this quick little perfume haul try out some of these fragrances dm me leave a comment let me know which one is your favorite if you happen to be familiar with any of these scents dm me let me know if you've tried one you know let me know let's bond over perfume and leave a comment below because i want to know what you guys favorite perfume is like so I can bite, like I wanna bite. <laughs> I wanna bite off your perfumes, like. So I think I've said enough. Make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel, check out Rebel Scents, and I will see you guys on my next video.